Hey guys, uh, so I'm making this video because I couldn't find one online, but basically I wanted to know what the difference between a three quarter and a one inch tweeter was. And those are the most common tweeter sizes that, uh, that you would put in a system that is uh, more towards a sound quality system. Uh, I'm no audiophile by any means. I just like music and I like playing with speakers and, and making things sound good. So uh, take my advice with a grain of salt. I'm still learning, but uh, I figured I'd make this video and put it out for y'all so y'all could uh, make a decision as well. Um, now, these are silk dome tweeters, uh, so they're a lot crisper, but they are warm still. Um, and the difference they both make is very minuscule. Um, I believe one plays up to uh, 3,500 hertz, and the other one plays up to 4,500 hertz. Now also, uh, these are not cheap tweeters. Uh, there are tons of cheaper tweeters out there. These I would say are the kind of the top of the line kicker uh, tweeters. These are the KS tweeters. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to play some uh, non-copyrighted music, uh, let y'all hear the tweeters, and then I'll switch them back and forth, and then we'll talk about them on the end. All right, it's getting kind of dark. Hopefully y'all can uh, pick that up. Really, it's not a, a visual thing. It's more of a listening thing. Uh, and we got a pretty good camera here, so y'all should be able to pick some of this stuff up. So we're gonna go ahead and pick, uh, play some non-copyright music. This will be the one inch tweeter, and this will be the one we're playing first. Now I don't want to get too loud because it's nighttime. I don't want to annoy the neighbors and uh, if y'all want I can do a better video next time but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch this out real quick and then uh, let y'all hear the before and after. So let me play this one more time so it's consecutive and then we'll uh, we'll roll it into the three quarter. Cause you got me honey, honey. Even if my jokes are funny My tongue tied up on it And I don't need to speak a single word Cause you got me honey, honey. Okay guys, I don't know if y'all can hear that in the video. This is the three quarter side and I still got the one inch over there. But uh, what I was gonna try to say before I wrap up the video is uh, the one inch, this is a three quarter, it plays a lot lower and it takes more volume to, to sound louder, but it sounds more crisp. Uh, but in turn, the one inch, you don't have to turn it up as loud but it it's playing 
uh, how do I say, lower frequencies, about a thousand hertz lower frequency. So basically, that one inch tweeter is blending in with the mid range. It's hitting the mid range frequencies because it's it's bigger. It can do that. The uh, the three quarter cannot. And another interesting fact is that besides the 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 uh, I believe the three quarter plays up uh, down to 3500 hertz frequency hertz, uh, hertz frequency and the one inch plays down to 40 or I'm sorry I got them backwards uh, the one inch plays to 35 and the uh, three quarter plays to 4500 hertz frequency uh, but an interesting fact is that the three quarter can actually take 190 watts RMS but the one inch tweeter can only take up to 150 watts RMS now um, at this moment I do not have that much power even to uh, the channel that it's running off it's paralleled with a uh, component set up here at uh, 65 Hertz at, uh, or I'm sorry 65 watts uh, I believe it's 80 at 2 ohms. It's, uh, I'll make another video on that. But the point being that the uh, 3 quarter, you could actually give it more power and it would be a lot louder than the uh, 1 inch. Uh, but uh, if you're doing the sound quality thing, I, I really, I don't, I don't see a normal person every day driving, uh, pushing these to the uh, 150 watt, 190 range. Uh, unless you're just an audiophile. Uh, in that case, I would see y'all probably uh, using something like a JL7. All right, guys, that was just a quick video comparing the two. Uh, I don't know if the camera picked up any uh, of it or some of it, but basically, like I mentioned, the three quarter does not get as loud uh, as the one inch, obviously. The one inch is a bigger speaker and it takes less uh, power so I don't have to turn up the radio as much and the one inch since it crosses over a little bit into the mid-range it does sound a little warmer uh, but the three-quarter is a lot crisper uh, a lot cleaner and like I mentioned it takes more power to make it sound probably the same as the one inch. Uh, my recommendations are, if you're going to have a component set up, say a six and a half and a one inch in the dash, that's what I would do. Or if we had a six by nine in the doors, component six by nine, and then I would put the one inch in the dash. Uh, if you really want to get crazy with it, uh, which is what I did, you can get a six by nine component set. Also the KS line from Kicker with a two and three quarters uh, dash speaker. And I added the one inch tweeter to make it a three way. All these running in off the passive crossovers. So. All these come with a passive crossover. There's a bunch of unboxing videos. I'm not going to do that. I wanted people to actually hear what it sounded like. So give me a like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think. Thanks.